Let me show you how to create light rays in Photoshop. I'm Jesus Ramirez, and in this Photoshop tutorial for beginners, we will use a gradient fill layer in a unique way to generate the light rays over the image. You can download this image from my website to follow along. The link is in the description, or you can open this file directly from Photoshop. Go into the Discover panel by clicking on this icon, or you can press Ctrl F on Windows, that's Command F on the Mac. Click on hands-on tutorials and scroll down to find this tutorial. Or type create light rays in the search bar, then click to open this tutorial and press the blue start tutorial button. You can follow along with the guided on-screen overlays or this video. Start by making the foreground color white and the background color black by clicking on the small black and white squares. Or you can press the D key on the keyboard to set the default background and foreground colors. Then you can swap the foreground and background colors by tapping on the X key. Next, click on the new adjustment layer icon and choose Gradient. In the Gradient Fill dialog box, set the style drop down to angle and click OK. For this effect, we want to keep the bright pixels and hide the dark pixels. To do so, go into the Blending Mode drop down and select Screen. Then, open this Fill Layers layer content. There are two ways of doing it. You can double click on the fill layer thumbnail or you can go into the layer menu and choose layer content options. Either method will work. From this dialog box, click on the gradient preview bar to open the gradient editor. Then set the gradient type to noise and the color mode to HSB. Next, drag the white saturation slider all the way to the left to desaturate the gradient. This effect is generated randomly. Sometimes the resulting gradient will contain hard edges. If this happens to you, you can keep clicking on the randomize button until you get a smooth gradient that you're happy with. Press OK to close the gradient editor. From the gradient fill dialog box, you can drag directly over the image to reposition the gradient. Move it so that the center of the gradient is just outside of the top center of the canvas. Then press OK. In some cases, you may need to make the light rays darker or brighter to better match your image. The Levels Adjustment layer is great for this. Go into the Layer menu and under New Adjustment layer, select Levels. Make sure that you check the Use Previous Layer to Create Clipping Mask checkbox and press OK. Creating a clipping mask makes it so that the Levels Adjustment layer only affects the gradient fill and not the layers below. This down pointing arrow indicates that you have a clipping mask over the layer below. Next, use the center gamma slider to either brighten or darken the light rays. And you can also use the black and white points to control the brightness of the light rays. Let's colorize the light rays now. We will use another adjustment layer for this, but this time we will go into the new adjustment layer icon and select hue and saturation. Then click on this icon in the properties panel to clip this adjustment layer to the layer below. This gives you the same result as checking the use previous layer to create a clipping mask checkbox in the new adjustment layer dialog box. Again, by clipping the layer, it will only affect the grid and fill below and not anything else. Next, click on the colorize checkbox and set the hue to 35 to make the light rays yellow, or you can experiment with any color that you like. By the way, make sure that you check out my other in-app Photoshop tutorials in the Discover panel, like my tutorial on making a sky blue in Photoshop. You can watch it here. Thank you so much for watching.